So how many hives in total? 26. And we've done half so we'll do the other half. There's more bees out than I thought there would be on a day like this. Okay. Okay, it's uh, mid-November. We're now um, treating our hives with uh, vaporized oxalic acid. We've got a vaporizer here, which is a Varox 12 volt, 150 watt vaporizer we bought online. Um, all we do is basically treat it with two grams of oxalic acid, which goes in like that. Okay, that's your two grams in there. Put that down on the floor for now. This vaporizer hasn't been used yet, it's still cold, but I wouldn't normally put that there because it would make a hole in the floor. This is the guard to slide in underneath our Dadon hives, which keeps the gas in, and we usually leave them open all winter. Basically, we're treating against varroa mite, so we want to make sure we get a complete and utter seal. Normally wearing a mask as well because oxalic acid isn't the nicest of stuff, but because you just have to pause that and we have to restart them because I've really done. And how many minutes do you have to leave it in for? Two minutes and 15 seconds approximately, but it's a bit variable as long as it's over two minutes. Right, hopefully we won't have any too many grumpy bees like last time. Okay, so I'm actually using a slate to put underneath the vaporizer and it only just fits in through the entrance way because otherwise, this being a plastic open mesh screen bottom, uh, it would basically melt the whole way through. So you see it just goes in, in it goes quickly cover up the front of the hive so basically it's sealed now I always find the bees aren't a problem once you've treated them it's only after you've right the vaporizers now one is one trying to come back in but I think I'd be glad he won't be it's find my timer and start right we're now got to wait two minutes 15 seconds in about 50 seconds you'll see a lot of gas coming up and around the hive. What happens is the oxalic acid vaporizes and coats everything in the hive, including the varroa mite, the bees, the frames, the, the, all inside the hive with a fine cloud of oxidized oxalic acid. Now that is actually toxic to the varroa mite, but not the bees. So it's probably one of the best options at the moment. It's also useful to note that the wind is coming from behind us, blowing into the hedge, so we're not too worried about wearing any masks today. Normally we would be. Just worth mentioning that, because the stuff's pretty vile. Okay, we're up to just over a minute now. There's not much actually showing, which is a good thing, because it means that the... It's uh, coming out, starting to come coming out the out. back now. Yeah, it's coming out the back now, which is just perfect, so... Um, there's always a few gaps, but when you actually see how much it vaporizes without in the open air, you'd see it's a terrific amount of um, vapor. What I'll also do is we'll probably leave the vaporizer in for another minute before we take it away out. And also we must cool down the vaporizer between each treatment because if you put hot oxalic acid back into the vaporizer before it's cooled down you'll get a face full of it and it's not a good idea. <coughs> just getting the and you also shouldn't it. inhale it Alan. <laughs> okay 
We're now up to two minutes 15. We'll disconnect the battery, done. But what I'll do is I'll, I'll bring you over here and you'll see what happens if you drop your vaporizer on the floor. This is how hot it gets. It makes a hole straight through your front floor protection. So that's what you want to avoid doing anyway. <coughs> I can smell the gas down here. Right. We can take this out now. Yeah, but unfortunately you do get one or two bees sometimes fall into the vaporizer. There we are, not a problem. You may also see one or two bees come out that are completely white. It covers everything in a fine powder. So there's no doubt it, there's a bee there that's nice and white. <laughs> so you know that it's worked well. There they are. There's no doubt about that. Right, the other thing you must do is cool the vaporizer. Have a bucket of water handy. There we go. Right, ready for the next one. I think I'd better move on. got in, or she just got in I should say, there we go, right, here we go, Surprising how many bees are is flying today. Mm. <coughs> of course, no, that's blocked up. They can't get in, so they're. Yeah, well, they're we not can, a problem. We they're can not see busting. the numbers increasing. It's surprising yeah. how many are out. We're up to a minute now, anyway. So that vaporising oxalic acid will be really spewing out inside there now. Slight leak there, but it's not really a problem. Okay, we're up to 2 minutes 15. Disconnect the battery. We'll have to wait a couple of minutes, well, a couple of seconds, just before we remove the... It's 
you even see it coming out from under the lid, which means it's got up around the feeder, but that's really good because it's penetrating the whole hive. Right, let's remove that now. They're not going to want to go back in when they find out what's inside the hive, but... bit of residue there but uh right two down ten more to go mouse guard back on November time now so we want to make sure that there's no mice getting in And repeat the whole process again? Yeah. Did you take the board out the back? No, I've got to do that next actually. You can always do that as the vocal is yes. plugged in because it's not essential that it's... These bees are actually much less aggressive today. Last week they were just terrible, weren't they? Saying that, <laughs> he caught me by surprise. <laughs> okay. Some sheet. Back in this side. Here we go. A few bees buzzing around now. Let's connect up the battery. Okay, we're on. Yeah, it's been worth putting that um, st strip of waterproofing down in front of the hives. What do they call that stuff? It's just like a semi permeable membrane, but you use it in horticulture for planting shrubs through. One of the beauties of it, it keeps weeds down, but also it enables you to turn up to your hives very quickly and ascertain what has been going on with them. You very often might find a queen on it if your hive swarmed. You might find bees with deformed wings in front of the hive or basically anything uh, this year I had an instance where some of my bees had got slightly poisoned and there was probably 150 bees in front of each hive so I was able mm. to see it straight away so it is a really good option and also you don't have to strim it every blinking weeks two weeks in the <laughs> yeah. summer so once it's down you can actually spray it with a very light weed killer mixture and then um, it's done that's only a twice mm. a year thing so anyway this one is not quite done yet but it is a really good thing to do because it means once you've got it down, you've got nothing to do around your hives. You just put your hives on top and walk away and you can see what's going on the whole time. If you look down the line, you might actually see a few dead bees in front of the hive and um, now it's autumn. A lot of the bees that are weak and um, also drones are, are starting to die off now. And, uh, but there's not that many. There's only probably three or four in front of each hive, which is a good sign. Right, turn the battery off. Gosh, I'm popular today. Is that your telephone going? Yeah, there's a nice white bee. You can see there's one there with a 
deformed wing and that's exactly what we're trying to kill varroa mite to Avoid. hopefully stop them transmitting all these viruses they do are supposed to contain and if you can see that well but that's the classic deformed wing virus to be which are really a nursery stage they're still a good help to the hive but there's no use as foragers because they can't fly so poor thing is um born with this virus in it and obviously it was transmitted to it during the the, the brood stage so that's the end result and that's what we're trying to stop anyway unfortunately that's going to be dead by tomorrow but there you go right on to the next one